they are to take care of the well-being of our dear brother. But then our dear brother must obey. So we see, we see that it is important, important for us to submit to the authority and let the authority to carry out their duty and responsibility. So in conclusion, God is above all. No man can be the neck that turns the head. The right way to live is that if we are the head on earth, sometimes we are the head of the family, the head in the class, the head in our company, whatever. Husband, wife, parents, teacher, church leaders, nothing can justify, take note of this, nothing can justify otherwise. We must not be tempted to put our own authority and even any other authority above God's authority. So, truth for life. It is an eternal blessing to come under the rule of God. With all the evidences I presented to you, all on earth enjoy a general blessing. But those who believe in Jesus Christ receive special blessings of God. The blessing coming from God's authority over them, both on earth and also in heaven. So get right with God. And we will have a good marriage, good family, as long as God remains the head. God remains the supreme authority of our marriage and our family. There will be no domestic violence. There will be no divorce. Likewise, in church life, teaching from the scripture, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 17, we can have a good church life if we respect the authority the church leader. Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your soul responsibly. As those who will have to give an account, let them do this with joy. Don't give them trouble and not with groaning, reluctancy, for that would be of no advantage to you. And also, we have peace if we pray for our national leaders. Look at 1 Timothy chapter 2, first two verses. First of all, first of all, then I urge that supplication, prayer, intercession, and thanksgiving be made to whom? To all people. Who are the all people? For kings and all who are in high positions. Those who have authority over you. That we may lead a Peaceful, quiet life, godly, and dignified in every way. Christians should remember and remind one another regarding these special advantages, special blessings, and also articulate them to the non believers. Okay, application to end. This message this morning. Firstly, I would like to urge all of us to choose. Choose for yourself who would you submit to. If you have not come to know the Lord Jesus Christ and surrender your life to Him. Surrender your life to Him meaning say surrender under His rule. Joshua, who took over the leadership of Moses, and lead the people, the army, the Israelite army, to conquer the land and to take the land that God has promised to them. After seven years of fierce fighting, this is what he said. Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in faithfulness. Put away the gods that your father served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. Yahweh. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your father served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorite in whose land you dwell. But, listen carefully, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Why, Moses, why Joseph is so convicted? 
because in the seven years of conquest of the fighting in this land, fighting all the fierce enemy, he realized, he experienced firsthand that he cannot win. Because all the way was God who fought the battle, who, who destroyed the enemy right in front of him. The first battle in the battle of Jericho, we all know, so famous. In today's context, you can say that this army of Israelites, they did not even fire a bullet. And Jericho is taken. Number two, devote yourself, devote your personal life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and be thankful. And be thankful. And finally, do our earthly duties responsibly. Don't be an irresponsible person. Do our earthly duty. Whether it's your husband, your wife, whether you are a student, whether you are parents, whether you are children. Do everything responsibly. Don't be an irresponsible person. And let God take charge of our eternity. He will. Whoever honor God, God will honor us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you have brought us to the records in the book of Luke. To clearly understand that Jesus Christ, whom you sent, He is the authority of all. Everything on earth, every kingdom on earth, is under His jurisdiction. In other words, everything serves Him. Every power and authority must serve Him. So, Father, cause us to realize that it is a big mistake for us to think that we can run our life ourselves. Cause us, O oh Lord, to humble ourselves, to thank Jesus who died, who rose from the dead, and to secure our eternal life. May we continue, Lord, to submit to this rule. For this rule is the guarantee of our life, blessing on earth and blessing in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. In your name we pray.